this is the career that I want to be in. And I think uh, all of you guys can agree with me that you guys don't want to spend all this money and not be in broadcast. All right. So I made a decision to basically make sure that I do better than all of those Clear Channel and Crawford Broadcasting people who came to be on that station. What you do on Twitter is important. Because Facebook is cool, don't get me wrong, you know, everybody's on that, but I say Facebook is too sensitive. You put something up on Facebook and all of a sudden it's an outcry, it's like, oh, why did you do that? Like, because I wanted to, it's my Facebook status. <laughs> no. But Twitter, you reach people quicker, faster. Also, if you have branded yourself and you have tweeted, Facebooked it, all of that, check me out here, check me out there, all of that stuff, Program directors pay attention to that. And if they don't pay attention to that, somebody else do. And somebody, if you're good enough, somebody is going to look at that program director, that operations manager, or that general manager and say, I think I have somebody that's an undiscovered talent that I think can be a star in this business. My advice to you is develop, like, and you're already at Mancow and everything, so you see, develop like a little show. Film that bad boy, edit it up and make your own website. Especially if you want to get on the radio, pay attention to mix shows, all right? Um, it's very important because with you hosting the mix show, you're the first person to play music before it actually gets on the radio, all right? And then actually being on the mix show is gonna help you get more gigs. But it is DJs like, somebody like DJ Sean Mack. I don't understand why Sean Mack has never been on the radio. I don't understand, I don't understand it either, but he puts in work.